Hey folks, every day we hear about zero carb, no carb, intermittent fasting, the ketogenic diet. And every day I hear people saying, I'm exercising, Russ, and I'm not losing body fat. So what I want to do is I want to break it down for you. What we found out in 1996, when we shifted all the endurance athletes and all my roommates and myself on the ketogenic diet, this will sort of paint a picture for you. Because the last thing I want people to do is to exercise 20 hours a week, get frustrated, and not, and not burn any body fat. So hopefully I'll plant a few seeds for you. Let's break it down. When you start running and working out and doing endurance training, you're on the high carb diet. And the high carb diet basically shuts off fat burning. So if you're stacking a lot of miles, you're going to need a high carb diet to fuel your brain and your muscles. And all that research is changing. You're going to elevate cortisol and adrenaline levels. Cortisol and, and, and adrenaline break down muscle tissue. So you have to be very aware of when you, when you set your goals on, on training for a marathon or a triathlon or even climbing K2, getting a good baseline is going to be very important so you could finish the event successfully. Low protein, low essential fatty acids. Because back in the day, everybody thought fat was so bad, they were banging down the carbs all the time, and the carbs were, were, were doing nothing but shutting off fat burning. We know now that the body fuels itself better on a high-fat diet. So we've got high-carb, low-protein, low-essential fatty acids. They continue the mileage. The metabolism starts to break down. We have low serotonin and low uh, dopamine levels. We know when you, when you train too much and you don't recover, your feel-good chemicals in your brain are affected, okay? You become nutrient deficient, and when you become nutrient deficient, your body, when you go into level four REM sleep at night, your body will mine nutrients out of your own tissue. So now you start your, your trek, your goal is to finish a marathon or a triathlon, you're training with your buddies, and you're slowly depleting yourself because you didn't get baseline testing. And this is why we take care of athletes now. We kind of understand that process. Physicians forget about it. They don't, they don't know how to treat athletes. They don't know how to look at the multiple metabolic markers. I'm not shooting down physicians, folks. I've got friends that are physicians on this program. But I want you to understand the process. Muscle wasting. When your body goes into level four REM sleep at night, it releases growth hormone. Because you're not getting adequate nutrients, your body's going to mine amino acids out of your own muscle tissue. So your muscles start to shrink when you're doing your training. And again, whether you're climbing K2 or you're training for a long distance race or you're going to paddle board or run 100 miles, you want to make sure that your muscles and, and, and your hormone levels are all in balance. You have elevated homocysteine, which we know now damages the heart, so you could train a lot. We have athletes right now that are marathon runners that have had heart attacks. Why did that happen? We believe it's from low testosterone and, and elevated homocysteine levels, which damage the lining of the arteries, which, which we'll get into later. We have muscle wasting. So when your muscles are wasting, what happens? Your metabolism slows down because you think you're starving. And your thyroid and, and your adrenal levels start to not function properly. So now your metabolism shifts gears and your metabolism slows down. So whatever you start to eat right now, you're going to start putting on more fat because your body's in starvation mode. Now you have the increase in body fat. Now, all the athletes that I work with, as soon as their body fat increases, I call this the endurance trap. Then they start increasing their mileage. Oh my God, I can't get in my jeans. I better start increasing my miles. So they go from running 15 miles a week to 20 miles a week, and they're trying to maintain their weight. And then they get in that hamster wheel while multiple metabolic systems of their body start to break down. And as you can see from this chart, high carbs, low protein, nutrient deficient, muscle wasting, slow metabolism, increased body fat, oh my God, I crossed the finish line of my marathon and I haven't lost any weight, in fact, I'm heavier. So by educating yourself about performance and how you're biochemically unique, folks, you are biochemically unique, whatever that challenge is. I use the same program for people sitting in front of a computer. They need to you know, enhance their brain chemistry and focus on their brain performance. Same thing happens. So by you understanding your body and understanding what testing to do, and you, if you come to us, we could obviously you know, develop a program for you. But you've got to understand physiologically that you're biochemically unique. So whatever your goals are, you're going to be different than, than all the person, all the people in your training group. Folks, you know what all this? Check out the Russ Scali YouTube channel. We, have, we put a lot of education up there. We want to help you. And if you've got questions, go to Scala Precision Health. Type in your name and we'll answer your questions for you.